What's up guys, my name is GameNote321 and welcome to a video about X Defiant. If you've never heard of a game called X Defiant, you need to go play it right now because it is free to play. And I recommend it because Call of Duty is basically doing whatever they want. Xbox is owning Call of Duty now. If you saw the Xbox showcase, they revealed Black Ops 6, but I want to tell you guys about X Defiant. And I normally don't do these kind of videos, so if you want more commentary videos like this, be sure to smash the like button. <laughs> okay, let's get serious right now. X Defiant is basically free-to-play Call of Duty, but it plays like the old arcade-style Call of Duty. Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 2, you know. Back then, when Xbox 360 was king, that's when Xbox was basically at its peak. So... Now we have Black Ops 6, and we have X Defiant. Right now, we don't have a lot of shooter games that are doing well. Halo Infinite, garbage. Battlefield 2042, it flopped so bad, all the players left. Everyone's gone. The game's cool now, but everyone's gone. There's just a bunch of games out there that just could have made it, but just they can't beat Call of Duty. Call of Duty can't like end. <laughs> Activision has to kill Call of Duty, and they kind of are doing it. And it's really showing with X Defiant because in X Defiant, it's free to play. So everyone has access to it as long as you have like, you know, a current gen console. And I mean, PS5 and X Series X PC as well. But the thing is, X Defiant is doing what Call of Duty doesn't do. And now that there's competition, Call of Duty has to actually do something. They're revealing their trailer really early. They've been sending out leaks. I honestly think the leaks are done on purpose. But there's a lot of stuff about Black Ops 6 that was revealed before the trailer during the Xbox showcase. X Defiant was already out. There was betas and alphas. There was like a two-year delay, and now it's finally here. It's in preseason, so you can play it now. It's not season one yet, but there should be an announcement of the maps that are coming. I know they have content for like the next two years at least, but this is one of the games that should be played. For years just like rainbow six because it's a ubisoft game so it could be good now and then ubisoft will ruin it but mark rubin basically the head of x defiant he's communicating with people on twitter and like giving get like asking for feedback and he responds like actually responds you don't hear this from activision everyone wants to know what is skill based matchmaking can you get rid of it they won't talk about it it's very corporate this x defiant right here this free-to-play game that you can get right now, they communicate. They have no skill-based matchmaking, so it plays like classic Black Ops 2. You're not going to do super well for, in the first game in Call of Duty. And, oh, because you got 30 kills and 10 deaths this game, we're going to put you in a sweaty lobby, give you bad teammates, and let's see if you can carry them. So the game manipulates you by using something called Engagement Optimized Matchmaking, EOMM. So to keep you playing for as long as possible, to make it addicting as possible, to make the matches of the games, you know, get as close as possible. So every game you have to try. You can't just sit in the back, you know, maybe use like a hard scope with a sniper, but everyone's bunny hopping around, sliding, and you're getting one tap by these crazy ARs. And speaking of snipers, Call of Duty has flinch on snipers. I actually... Played a lot of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, the recent one. I got the mastery camo in Zombies because I just couldn't take playing multiplayer. It's just like, it's really sweaty. I can't even use like the worst guns because everyone is tryharding. And I'm like, I don't have the headache to go for that. I've literally gotten Dark Matter in Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4. And I think those are the only two mastery grinds I did. I'm just trying to level up guns. I'm not trying to do all this crazy stuff. With the challenges in Call of Duty, you have to do like hip fire kills or kills while sliding or point blank kills in x defiant it's just level the gun up they do have gold and bronze and silver yeah it goes from bronze to silver to gold i already have a gold sniper rifle and you're probably seeing the clips right now but basically the sniping in this game is really overpowered because there's a bug going on that there's no flinch on the snipers you're going to aim down sights you're going to get shot at your screen's not going to shake or flinch up you're just gonna get the kill 
and snipers are really broken but they are addressing it they're gonna fix it there's other stupid things like the mp7 is like the gun next to the p90 it's the gun in the game so it's really getting abused i'm just seeing people with a gold mp7 running around bunny hop spamming and it's like it x defiant is a movement shooter so is call of duty but when i hopped on call of duty yesterday to play the season four update you know they added like a new gundam wing skin ooh, and they added the map tokyo and i played it tried to quick scope like i was on x defiant and it just wasn't it just I'm like, i felt slow i felt like i was wearing bricks for shoes i'm not kidding you like the movement feels so like it too realistic x defiant feels arcadey and the fact that it's arcadey it kind of brings me back the aim assist isn't overpowering like in modern warfare 3 where it literally aims for you i play mouse and keyboard bro and when i picked up a controller because i was just like lazy trying to like you know do challenges to unlock this this weekly camo that they do sometimes i was in like a match and i'm like killing people with the controller and like four kills in i'm like this thing's aiming for me this this can't be real like holy crap keyboard and mouse is so much harder but i still prefer it for sniping because you know it's it's one bullet why not use a mouse but let's get back on topic with x defiant now with x defiant i'm already level like 65 70 something like that and mainly because i'm trying to grind out these weapons the xp that you get with no double weapon xp is very slow you need like 30 kills to level up a gun one time but i think it's the same throughout all the levels so if you want to unlock camos if you want to unlock attachments you just have to play the game and level up it's very simple and then they have the basic game modes where it's like overwatch where you push the cart or you have to capture the zones or and they have hard point and you know there's no team deathmatch yet but they're going to add that they're going to add search and destroy they're going to make an announcement where season one is going to be based on Rainbow Six because it's a Ubisoft game. All of their Ubisoft titles are going to be merged into one game. And the fact that they have a shop in the game with skins, it's a free to play game. Call of Duty makes you pay $75. At least that's after taxes for me. They make you pay $75 and they have to charge you a battle pass and they have to charge you like 20 30 dollar cosmetics and the best part they're not going to transfer over to the next call of duty that's been confirmed for black ops 6 maybe for warzone your stuff will transfer over to warzone but like if you're a multiplayer guy you don't play warzone all your skins all that money you put in is gone this is why people stick with fortnite because they invested so much time and effort into getting their stuff playing the game getting the battle passes all these skins that they don't want to play anything else why would they play fortnite copy and paste even though it has all these cool features and it looks interesting it's just gonna die because why would those people move over from fortnite to this other game where they have to start all over i feel like that about call of duty but the zombies is the only thing that's going to save it for me because even though call of duty has all this special movement and the dive the omni movement stuff where you can dolphin dive forward and turn around and shoot behind you stuff like that if you've played hell divers you know what i'm talking about like you're going to be able to sprint in other directions and stuff all this cool stuff but they're still going to have skill-based matchmaking they're still going to have have that eomm where they manipulate your matches they're still going to have overpriced shop skins yes they're going to go into the battle pass or they're going to go into the game pass, I should say. But why would you put a $70 game that's guaranteed to get money? You, you, get, you make billions of dollars a year on these CODs every year, right? Why would you put them on game pass for $10 a month when you know for a fact that people are going to play this for like a month to four months and then never touch it again? And then the next Call of Duty comes out to start the cycle all over again. They do this every single year, and I've bought every single Call of Duty since what? Call of Duty 3? I have, I have, no, I have Call of Duty 2. I have the hard disk copy of Call of Duty 2, and it has like, a, like three CDs to install the game. I still have that. Like, I've bought every COD since then. Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Infinite Warfare, all of those I've, be, I've played. I've bought every COD since 2019 to 2024 or 2023 but basically since like what bobby kotick or that's the head of the activision or whatever like he's the one making these decisions 
to overprice these things, suck money out of you constantly, and he just doesn't care. It's just a, it's just a way to make money. And then you got Mark Rubin over here, who used to be the head of classic Modern Warfare 2, like 2009 or whatever year it was. He he was he was like managing stuff over there. So now he's trying to make that here. And everyone who's been complaining about these modern CODs are getting what they want in X Defiant. And even though like games like the finals came out, I thought the finals was gonna pop off. I don't see where's the finals. I don't see it anywhere. I don't see it anywhere. It's just it's a it's a niche game. It's just meant for a small audience now. I don't think that's gonna be X Defiant. I believe X Defiant is going to be the game that people are going to play because what else is there going to play? Apex Legends is like seven years old, however many years old it is. Halo Infinite's done. Battlefield's done. Overwatch 2 is a huge letdown. Team Fortress 2 filled with bots. Like, where are the freaking shooters? Like, come on. I like third person shooters, but I like first person shooters even more, you know? I've even tried to get in more into League of Legends, <laughs> like games like that. I'm playing Helldivers with my friends sometimes. I'll hop on Apex with them sometimes. Um, I'm playing a lot of Valorant with my duo, and I'm trying to play, you know, get out of gold because literally I cannot get out of gold. I have a thousand hours on Valorant. I am hard stuck gold three. The highest rank I've been was like plat two or three. I've never peaked anywhere further than that. And that I'm just stuck on, and it's just, it's just Valorant like it's just valorant that i don't i don't like the battle royale i don't like warzone i don't play fortnite anymore even though i could i have a lot of skins on fortnite i don't play fortnite overwatch is just like a shell of its former self like actually like i wish i wish i missed 66 in overwatch like that was peak overwatch this overwatch is kind of it sucks to play tank but like honestly x defiant that's a game I am playing a lot right now. I already got the Gold Sniper. I got a ton of clips. Uh, the game is super fun. I'm excited for Black Ops 6. The zombies, I know round based zombies is coming back. But at the same time, I don't want to give Activision my money because X Defiant is just better. It's just better. He's that guy. He's the Sigma. What the Sigma? What the Sigma? I don't know where I'm going with this, but... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I can go more into this stuff, but Ubisoft is going to do a little showcase of their season one content, and I'm making this video the day of it, so it's gonna post on the day, but maybe I'll make a second part. We'll, we'll see what happens, but I know X Defiant isn't a perfect game. They're still working on it, but if you have the time to play it, just get on it. It just really reminds me of the classic Black Ops 2 days when I played with Spins and Josh and Zarekis and Zakora and you know I remember those people over at that one channel Equestrian Entertainment like way back 2014, 2015, 2016 we played so much Black Ops 3 and that was that was peak Call of Duty for me. Now it's just like I I I get depressed when I play Call of Duty. It's like a, a gambling addiction, you know. You know it's bad for you, but you keep playing the game because it's, quote, Call of Duty. That's the reason.